Hey peoples, Karina here coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. Um, I don't have a title currently right now, but probably, yeah, but if you're watching this, you see the title is below, but right now I do not have a title for this video. And I think I'm going to come back next week, possibly on camera talk about some old stuff but i noticed my videos have been getting a little bit more i don't want to say revealing or in-depth i don't know they're getting they're getting they're changing they're changing as i said that they would but look what we need to talk about I had to get my shits together before I could make mention of what I'm about to talk about. Because it's a sensitive subject. And I don't believe in oversharing certain things about my personal life or nothing like that. However, some things that happen need to be shared. Because everybody watching you know somebody or this has probably been a thing that they have seen. Now, I made mention about, um, y'all saw the video. Um, well, there's a few videos that's going to resonate with this video. But when I was speaking about shit shows unfolding and you're going to see this and you're going to see that. Sometimes things come out that you do not want to see. Sometimes the shit the shit show is real. The shit show is real. The things that people do and you really will be shown who is in your corner and who is not in your corner. All right. So let's just get into this video. You see the thumbnail, right? So all I want to say is this. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So it, it is what it is. People don't understand that life is more than... A lot of people don't understand this. Life is more than... Posting a selfie on Facebook or getting on YouTube, talking about somebody's hair, face, clothes, um, whatever. Calling people ugly. But you got God, right? You got God, right? You know, God character ain't like that, okay? Let me say that first and foremost. Because a shit show that I seen, and this was not on Facebook, I mean, this was not on YouTube. When, okay, pertaining to the thumbnail, when it, and I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it, guys. Give me, give me a second. Sometimes people will treat somebody so fucking horribly. And when they die, all of a sudden, they parade around in certain communities like, oh, we were best friends. We were this, we were that. But when the person was alive, you had enough nerve to be jealous of her having a husband that actually fucking loves her and because you were older than both of us you went and vented and I say you because this look at some point she gonna see this video and, and it really doesn't matter because I am really trying to hold my peace about this but I can't A mutual friend at one point that I was trying to give a try 
that was trying her damnedest and her hardest to get close to me and my best friend. She took our private conversations between us three, our private struggles, our private triumphs, our private working on this and that from last year. Now me, I don't I don't really care if you talk shit about me because if you post something, I can do one or two things. No, three things. Confirm it, deny it, or ignore it. So she decides to vent to somebody that she was close to that low key didn't like my best friend and didn't like me. And correct me if I'm wrong, but if you admire somebody, right? And you tell somebody else, supposedly, but that's not the vibe that I got. That's not the vibe that best friend got. That's, that's not the vibe because we kind of just went through for a loop for this one. So she goes, the snake ass bitch, not the bestie, okay? So you can keep up with the story. She goes and tells somebody else all of our private conversations. And a few days later, Things that were discussed between us three were out and about. And this person made no mention of their business. Really, it was basically like, well, uh, you know how when two people are talking about things that are happy or makes them happy and the third person, you would think that they would be happy because they have like, they say they in the same predicament, but they really not. So they'd be like, well, she was like, well, I hope to have you know a tight friendship with both you girls as you girls have with each other and this and that it's like damn sometimes bitches be trying to infiltrate friendships and don't even be having the same amount of loyalty that the people that's um and that friendship together friends can have friends outside of their friends but when a friend comes in and pretends like a fake friend an uh, enemy comes in pretending to be a friend and one of us like spot you out. That's it for you. I'm. I mean, like Bessie said, I'm. I'm. I look at everybody as suspect until you show me that you're cool. Because at first I used to do that shit the other way around. I looked at everybody like they was cool until you do something. But see, here's the thing: when you look at people. Not like as suspect, but I'm probably saying it too strong. But when you look at people as let let me let me find let me let me see who you are. Like I'm gonna give you time to show me who you are, cause you can't keep the mask up always. And then if you prove me right, I can't be disappointed. But if you prove me wrong, then you know, hey, no more shame on me, cause I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that shit. Cause that's one thing. That a lot of people that actually personally know me know that nah, Karina don't let you get close to her like that. Like, like, if if she don't nah, mm -mm, I got to see it. Ever since that shit from a couple years ago, I I don't do it. I don't do it. But anyway, so this bitch decides to go and tell our business to somebody that she considered a friend. And two days later, there was all kinds of bullshit things happening back and forth between me, her, and best friend. But here's the kicker. Being I'm like doing, uh, clearing out certain things and returning stuff to wherever it came from, known or unknown, like just really clearing shit. 
And I actually took a little minute to rest because it's a time to fight and it's a time to rest. So me and Bessie was looking at each other like, look, I think this is really strange. Such and such is happening and whatever like that. And she calls me frantic and goes, got to go to the hospital. I'm like, what happened? What happened? She was like, um, babe, got to go to the hospital because this or because that or whatever. And I'm like, what? I was like, nah, no, 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 no. So she really was sitting there and thinking about it and was like, wait one fucking minute. Who would know besides me and you something that precise when you know something that precise, even messing with her and, you know, she tried to do breakup friendship spells to where we didn't want to talk to each other and shit, but that wasn't even it. See, I thought that I didn't talk to her for like a day, right? Because I didn't even realize a whole ass fucking week went by. And we would talk every single day. And it was, we can put our finger on it and be like, wait one fucking minute. She was like, uh, yeah, we, we got to see what the fuck's going on. So see what the fuck's going on. So we video chatting the next day, right? This one pops up because we made like a little three chat group thing. Like if two people are talking and you see the little green dot on and both of the people in the chat, you could just join the chat because it's all three of y'all chatting. And we did it like that to make it easier so we don't have to connect each one to each one. You know, we just because all three of us would chat. So after that bullshit, she was like, OK, well, when shit reverse, we going to see where it go. But I think I told y'all that in a video and the shit was going back to this bitch. And exactly what she done to this woman's husband and exactly what she did towards my bestie and me, that same shit started happening to her motherfucking ass. Be like, you know what? Sometimes if you let a snake in and you ignore your gut feelings, then yeah, you're going to be like, you're going to get... You're going to get fooled. But when you be like, no, bitch, I just feel funny about this shit. So enough about that. But this woman, after she did that shit and she called back and she got back in that live. I mean, not the live. When she got back on the chat thing, Bessie, when she called me, she was like, how you feel today, Karina? I'm like, I feel wonderful. How do you feel today? She's like, I feel great. And my husband's doing wonderful. I'm like, that's great. The little sound of the phone make. Here comes the other girl. Oh, my God, you guys. I, oh, my God. It's like I just woke up and this and this and that. And while she had her head down, and this is one thing, she could never look me and Bestie in the eye. Whenever she talks, she'd look at the top of our head or she'd look at the our chin or some she would focus her eyes on something else, but she never could look us dead in the eye. So she said, Oh, I just I don't know what this happened and that happened, and so and so had to be I'm like, mmm. So that fast bitch, that fast bitch is we were like, okay, we just looked at each other. Like, I can't believe it. Because when you send back negativity to wherever it came from and you don't know, wherever the fuck it hits is the person that did the shit. Okay? So, after that, I was pretty much done because there was other shady shit. Like, I really needed to have her do something for me like... Uh, like, I couldn't reach my bestie one day, so I was like, do you have another contact number for her or whatever? I just, I feel weird about something, like, something I saw, I, I need to get in touch with her. I can't call her, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, well, I got her husband's number. And I was like, why are you dialing so slow, bitch? Hurry up. And I said it just like that. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. But look, you know me and my weird fucking feelings, so just do it. So I was like, fuck this shit, hang up, hang up and call me back. So she ain't never called back, but Bestie texted me and she was like, yeah, this happened and that happened and such and such and such. 
and so I'm good because whatever it's a lot to the story but I'm just I'm just getting into I'm just getting into the basic stuff because some things don't need to be told but she basically was like um well I I can't get in touch with him so you know just leave it in God's hands like bitch you too calm oh but that's my sister and I love my sister that like bitch you just barely met us a couple months ago how the hell do you know us like this and like that or whatever so fast forward some months later after i got uh i i told bestie i said look you want to give me another contact number for you know somebody else i can reach if i can't reach you to make sure you good make sure you okay because dude you know I'll be feeling when you feel in some type of way a lot of the times. And so she was like, yeah, she's like, I don't remember how I ended up giving her um, my husband number. I don't remember something happened. Like, I don't know. I think my phone wasn't working that day and I gave it to her so she could call me on it because I had his phone or something like that. So I was like, oh, OK. So I only kept that number for emergencies if i couldn't get in contact her at contact with her like however if something you know whenever you give a shit about your friends you you always want to make sure they okay especially if you know they going through things just like if she don't hear from me for two days she you all right um did something happen you okay blah 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 you know at least send me a text or something and let me know this or let me know that because sometimes when we get in our moments where we have to be uh separated from each other energetically to work on self you know just to be like hey well i need time to think whatever blah blah so it's been times that i would call um you know i think i had to call him maybe like twice and be like look okay i'm just making sure whatever he says she didn't charge her phone before she left so yeah there's that but i'll tell her that she needs to uh charge her phone because yeah she's fine she's just roaming around doing her normal things that she does and i'm like okay good long as she okay got it so the last time i had to call him was not not a good one because Fourth of July. I know the last time I actually talked to her was actually the third of July. And early in the morning too. And our conversation, we normally would have we would talk about certain things, but it was never um this conversation felt different. Because I would always tell her, look, if certain things stress you out, or certain people, whatever like that, drop that shit. It's okay. Like, it don't matter how you look to people for saying, look, I got to walk the fuck away from this. I got to walk the fuck away from that. I don't care if you want to retire early and walk around in your backyard barefoot and garden again. You could do that. I'm not going to look at you any different if you chose to walk away from things that bother you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, I think she was talking, they were talking about moving anyway and everything like that. So that was the last time I uh, had voice to voice contact with her. And she was like, I woke up today and I just realized that a lot of people that say they love me and they care and this and that there's like a lot of people just they only want to be i mean she's had this conversation before but not to the extent that i'm about to say she said it's hard to believe that you're actually still here and you didn't leave my life you didn't even come into my life to take 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 from me we've actually been there for each other and at least i can say that in my life i actually had a real best friend and i was like why are you speaking past tense like what's going on i'm like did i do something uh, she said no 
I'm just thinking over my life. She's like, I know that you are in my corner, but some people that I thought was in my corner really wasn't in my corner. And I really thought these people were in my corner. And I'm just, I got a lot on my mind right now. And it's just things that I can't discuss. And I was like, you know, you can tell me anything. And she was like, yeah, this I can't tell you. And I'm like, um, okay. Cause sometimes we have those things that we don't want to tell our friends because it's just some things we have to deal with alone. But then sometimes you don't know how severe it is. And we talked and she's like, I'm gonna call you back later. And I'm like, mm, all right. And so I think we texted a little bit and she was like, I got so much stuff to do for this and that an event. There's something that she had to go do. She's like, so I'll text you tomorrow. So I said, okay. Then I didn't hear from her until 4th of July. I think the last text message I got from her was like 10 02 at night. And she was like, Karina. And normally when she's, she, she'd be like, Hey girl, or how when we get or if something I could tell by how she texts if she was happy, sad, or bothered, whatever. Cause normally if it's something good, she'd be hey ho. Cause that's what we do. Like whenever it's something good that she wanna share, whatever, we just we was just freaking close. But I had noticed that she just it seemed like she kept wanting to tell me things, but she couldn't tell me things, and she just said she had a lot on her mind and she wanted to go think and she just she felt frustrated and just too many people pulling at her and everything and I was like look you gotta just tell these people fuck no but before all that a day or two before no I think after we talked on the third she said she got on Facebook and she was basically stating, I realized who was in my corner, who is not in my corner, this and that, like a long post. And she was like, you know, my circle about to get real small. And, you know, whenever she make posts like that, we wouldn't think nothing of it because whenever she say stuff like that, she really just leaves certain people alone once she find out how they are. So the last message, like I said, that I got was 4th of July at 10.02 at night. I normally don't bother her when I know she got a lot of stuff to do or whatever, but when she texted and was like, Karina, I'm so frustrated. I, I can't take a lot of, I just can't take all this that's happening. And she was like, I'm about to go to such and such to think and decide what I need to do. And I'm like, what the, and I'm looking at it and she texts, love you girl. And I immediately picked up the phone. Like I'm looking at it and I'm calling her and calling her and calling her and calling her and her phone is just ringing. Like she didn't answer. And so on the fifth, I'm like, I know when she gets in a certain headspace and decides she don't want to talk to people, she will probably don't talk for like two or three days and then be like, who girl. So let me tell you what happened after that. But so I told myself, okay, I'm a, I'm a try not to panic. I'm just going to call her Tuesday. So I got up and I called and called and called and texted and texted and texted because I felt like something was wrong. And the last thing I wanted to do was to call her husband and hear bad news. I sat and I pulled the tarot before and what I saw and what I felt was like this can't be legit. Like I cleansed the cards. I did this, that, whatever, kept flipping them out. They kept coming out the same way. And I was like, no. So I called him and I said, this is Karina. I'm just calling to check on. And I said my friend's name. 
and I said, is she okay? And he just kind of sighed. And I was like, what happened? He was like, actually, no. I found her yesterday, such and such. And I'm like, I, I, I just fucking went numb at that moment. Cause I'm like, wait a minute. So a lot of times you don't know what people be dealing with. And sometimes because they know that you're going to be there and want to come to their aid, like they come to your aid. Sometimes when things get so bad, they feel like they don't want to, they just back away from everybody and they don't talk to you and tell you what happened. But the people that were the closest to her know that all the stuff that she had to do and all the shit that was going on before, prior to this, but the fake, fake friend that I was mentioning earlier, while every, like everybody else had found out, like I, I didn't call and say shit to nobody. I think one other person, because I was still in shock for the first couple of days about it. And then... Only two, three people, but one in particular, two people that knew how close me and her were called to check on me and be like, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm sorry, I, I can't, ex I can't even know how you feel, especially since I know y'all talked every day, except for the last few days. Two people just checked on me just because they felt like it was the right thing to do. No. Two, one person checked on me because they felt like it was the right thing to do. The other two actually had a convo with me. I'm put it like that. And the other one was a mutual friend of both of ours that we were both just getting to know. And she was really cool and everything. But, you know, this fake bitch that I was speaking of earlier in the video, she had enough nerve to get on Facebook and be these long ass, oh, you were my sister, my best friend, this, that, whatever. And when one of them uh, hit me on Messenger, she said, I'm, when she, after she told me that she felt some type of way, and then she was like, wait a minute, something that I saw on Facebook just annoyed the shit out of me and I'll say what she say I remember so and so telling me about this person um, when she vented to me she said she told you so that's why I'm telling you but we had a private chat about it and she said that she didn't realize that I was telling her not to trust this 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 bitch because she wanted to see the good in everybody but she was making all these posts about, oh, my sister, my best friend, you're my life, this and that. And that used to annoy Bestie when she was here. That used to annoy her, too. She'd be, like, looking at it like, lying, bitch. You lying, bitch. You did spell work on my husband to try to kill my husband, hoe. You did this and that on me to try to put me back in the hospital, hoe. And I was like, and where was I at? She was like having my back I was like okay and this bitch was sitting up there jealous of your whole ass life well, especially when she knew how you worked your job a regular job and did your side thing and then in two years you actually made your transition out of your regular job and that's what you that's what drew you to me really because you said that how I worked and everything and the fact that we worked in the same type of industry for a long time. And if you could get everything in life that you wanted, so could I. And that was the things that you were saying, you know, just, you know, how could you know somebody's background and their past, where they came from to where they are now and still be jealous of them? This I do not understand. So the chick was basically putting all this 
three, four, five, six page letter. I'm probably exaggerating, but that motherfucker was, that post was so long, it looked like a novel. And it heated one of our mutual friends that called me. It was like, look, show me this woman did this and this and this to her. And I was like, yeah, she did. And she told me to be nice and not confront the woman, but I couldn't hold my peace. I said, I told Bestie, I said, look, I'm sorry. I know you want me to be nice to her because she owe you money. But you know how I am. You know how you get uh, bat shit crazy behind me? Well, I get bat shit crazy behind you. And I'm sorry, I can't be nice to this bitch. I don't want to talk to this bitch. After we seen what we seen, like, I don't want to talk to this bitch. And so I had to just tell her, I don't want to talk to this bitch. And one day, the bitch made me mad. And I told her, like, in a long ass message and then I blocked her ass after that after we had this heated ass argument and I was like how the hell are you gonna sit there and be like this 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 and that at first I didn't block her because she was like well nobody cares about me and this and that and it's like bitch don't 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 like no some told me to tell her to shut the fuck up don't do it don't just stop because the sympathy shit ain't working bitch it's not working. I could tell when somebody is genuinely concerned for somebody and when they just shooting the bullshit and trying to latch on to people. She only wanted to be friends with both of us to get me out the way so she could be best friends with her just so she can get favors and shit. It's like, wait a minute. Our friendship was never based on that. We came into this shit fighting our ex-best friends together because they teamed up on us because they didn't want us to be friends in the spiritual i want to say community or what not like that like when somebody decides to want to mentor you and your and your friend and then the friend gets mad and jealous and stupid and be like oh she ain't all that and she got heated best friend got heated and was like no i'm sorry how do you talk bad about somebody and call them your sis that's not okay because this girl never said anything bad about you. Then it turned to a big ass Facebook blow up for like six fucking months. Six fucking months, bro. Six months. Until we figured out like why, why is she latching on to you like that? Why is she latching? And it's like, look, fuck what other people got to say about you. Only God knows what he put in you. And sometimes people will get around you and try to hold you captive like you're their slave. So that's how we became best friends. Like she ended up low key fighting for me behind my back when I didn't know. And then when I seen an open attack coming to her, I decided to step my ass in and decide, hey, you're not going to be bashing her on Facebook, like, and then sending messages to other people saying what you're going to do to her. I saw the text messages. So to threaten, like now, to threaten somebody and try to put them in harm's way because be like, our our best friends got stolen by this one. Ain't nobody, nobody can steal your best friend away from you. Friends can have other friends outside of you. So I ain't like when this bitch, the, the other fake bitch that was getting in, in the mix of shit, sitting there telling people, Oh, she's my this and she's my that. And, but when the mutual friend of mine and, and my best friend came to me and talked to me because she was heated about some things that I was heated about, except she wanted to talk to me about it because she knew that this friend only told me about it. So two people that know about the same bothersome uh, events, we, we talked about it. And she said... I don't like the vibe that the group got now, even though she made, uh, cause I'm not in this group no more. I haven't been in that group for like, uh, I haven't even been active in that group in like over shit. It's been almost a year, but I'm still an, um, admin in the group. So literally I could go in that bitch. If it gets too fucking haywire, like mutual friends said, 
I can go up in there and shut that shit down. Because we're not finna be sitting here making like uh, the fake one that, that sat and told all our business. We're not gonna sit there and act like you feel empowered. Because somebody that actually really gave a fuck about you passed away. When I, when Bestie was here, I told her, look, you gonna just have to be mad at me because I'm finna get in this bitch's ass. Calling me, telling me this is happening to her and that's happening to her. I'm like, bitch, you know, when we start like cleaning shit away, when you cleanse certain stuff away, it go back to where it came from. There's many ways to reverse shit. But the main thing is this. You got up in the circle causing all this fucking chaos, all this fucking shit, because you you wanted to make Bessie have nobody but you. And we both came out of friendships like that. So we felt the need to watch each other's backs. So how dare you? I'm not even going to say your initials, but how dare you? Because your name don't even need to be mentioned. But you all up in the group. Like, I, I mean, I didn't take notice of it because I don't be in the group like that. Hell, even Bestie left the damn group, okay? Because it was just turning a certain type of way. And she was thinking about deleting that motherfucker anyway. And if shit get... Look, I'm, I'm thinking about deleting that motherfucker. Making a long ass post being like, look. How y'all gonna call yourself spiritual and don't even fucking know it's energy energy vamping motherfuckers up in here acting like they love and light? No. No, 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 no. That is not the case. And I know that this fake motherfucker still got all those text messages that I sent her and be like, oh, well, Karina's not a nice person because this and that. She sent that long ass message to Bestie. She say, damn, bitch, it's taking me like an hour to read all this shit. And I was like, just pull it up on your computer so, you know, we could still talk. To I mean, she couldn't even stop fucking laughing. She was like, wait, what? I was like, yeah. She's like, why is she? It's like, I didn't do anything wrong to her. And she'd rather, and she was saying that she'd rather die before she hurt us. Like, you dumb bitch. Be like, you dumb bitch. She's sitting there reading that shit. Bestie was reading that shit like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She say, I understand. I say, look, when you feel a certain type of way, don't hold that shit in to please nobody. Just let, let it out. Hell, if I annoy you, let it out. For real. Like, not even me. Don't, don't even not tell me if I'm annoying you, okay? Because I'll be like, damn bitch, you damn sure tell... Like, I would tell you if you annoy me and my thing. And we we basically, I was like, look, I love everything about you, except you need to speak your mind more. You need to stop, you know, stop thinking everybody's good, goody, goody. And when she got to the point of just like, you know what? You're right, because that's stressful to hold in stuff to please other people. She's more the love, light, sweet, kind. Me, I'm the motherfucker be like, what you say? What you say? What you say? But she kind of balanced me out with a little bit more understanding. And as I'm making this video, I just get a text. Okay. But that's from our mutual friend. So, okay. So, it was, okay, I can't even read it right now. But um, I'm about to read it shortly. Because we chat a little bit. And uh, so. What I'm saying is this. I had to basically put my foot down. On a bitch coming. Coming for my friend. And 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 the things that. I'll be like bitch. Did you not know. Like like look. I try to be nice to you. I, and I said it in the text messages. I said I tried to be nice to you. Because. So-and-so told me to be nice to you. So Bestie saw that like, yeah, be nice to you and try to be more loving in this and that. But no, bitch, I don't want to be nice to you. You did this and you know you did this. 
sending other people like go and talk people business other folks and then not like in a way that's uplifting them but in a way of what can you do you know i don't like seeing this person happy blah 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 but you all up her ass trying to be her friend and i and she didn't even reach out and say nothing to me and she knew she better not because it would have been a big ass argument like, don't say shit. How somebody you love them and they're your friend and they're your sister and they're your this and they're your that. Bitch, you don't even know nothing about her outside of Facebook. What's her favorite color? What is her favorite movies? What is her favorite? Who is her favorite music artist? What size shoe do she wear? What size clothes do she wear? What's her favorite food outside of what you see on Facebook that she posts where her favorite place to go eat? She got other favorites. What is her favorite drink? Like quick now. Tell me these things. Do you know these things? Do you know what will fucking make her laugh? Like if she is like the most pissed in life. You do not. How can you sit there and call somebody your friend and you don't know shit about them? And you making these long posts and she is, she was bothered by that shit like while you were doing it. And it's like, I always wanted to just erase the shit and be like, please stop. But somebody, somebody gonna tell your ass something. Cause you think the people watching your ass post this shit, this fake friend shit, but you think that there's there's at least two people that know how shitty you treated her when she was alive. And they're going to tell your ass something if you got something to say. And I'm trying to fall back and not say shit. Because right now it's about continuing on with the things that I got to do and the life that I got to live and and understanding that everything happens for reasons that sometimes we don't know. But the point is this, don't call nobody your friend and sit up there and, and do stupid shit and think you're going to run and be like, well, I need you guys as help to do. And I just flat out told you, I ain't going to do shit because you brought the shit that you brought. You brought the shit to you that you brought on yourself. Like, can you do this or can you do that and then another time oh another time she calls herself doing shooting us a screenshot of some quote unquote healing candle which was not the case because the shit wasn't even wrote in english so we blew up the picture and researched all the damn uh things that was on there and what it translated to, bitch. So you really thought we was that dumb. We was going to just trust that you was trying to burn good for us. Be like, no, bitch. Block. Block. I'm just done with people like that. If you have a friend and you say that's your friend, love them. And the only thing that keeps me. Gets me gives me some peace is knowing that I was a good friend and the fact that in our last conversations she always made mention of that and I always told her the same she said you prayed for God to do something for you and we came into each other's life and you answered a prayer it's like, no, she said, God answered a prayer of mine that I prayed a long time ago through you. I know what it's like to have a real best friend. Somebody that I love like my own family. Hell, there was time she went holidays and she went somewhere or whatever. And she's like talking about me to her family be like, oh, let me, let me, let me chat my friend so y'all can meet her. Let me, let me teach you meet my friend. And so I can say she taught me what a real friend was. If I never knew 
what a real friend was, I know now. Be good to your friends if they're your friends. And I'll be back with another video shortly. Talk to y'all later. Bye.